Good morning. Today on the bench we have uh, this Sony Walkman. This is WMD6C. Very nice unit <clears throat> from one of our customers. Uh, there is one issue with this device. Uh, so customer used wrong power supply because for these Sony's uh, this is a positive side and uh, inner one is negative and uh, he connected wrong power supply uh, and there is also shown what to, what you have to use and uh, right now we have problem and problem is um, let me grab some, <coughs> some cassette. And I'll show you some headphones. Okay. This is the problem. Look how fast it is going. You see? And, and it is not reacting to... To this and... No. No, absolutely no reaction. So... That's what happens when you accidentally use wrong power supply for these devices. It fries up uh, that uh, uh, motor, servo motor speed chip. And because of this, we have that, that issue with, with, uh, with the speed, yeah? So I am already... <clears throat> And with this assembled device, removed just a few screws, just to identify uh, what kind of chip it is using. It's it's this one, so it's uh, CX20084, made by Sony. There is substitutes of these in the eBay. Aliexpress. I don't trust them because in the comments I see or in the feedbacks I see that uh, people are mentioning that those chips are not working or if it's working it, if, if it is working they are uh, they are very hot and uh, after set some time they are they they just die and do the same thing as um, fried sony original so to get one original is actually very 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 tricky these days and uh, there is another option is to grab some it is to grab that chip from another walkman from another another dd dd walkman for example yeah uh, right here I have <clears throat> also disassembled uh, a very poor state, as you can see, it's uh, DD11 uh, Walkman, and I got it for a bit cheaper price than I think someone would ask for original this. And let's check. As you can see, right here, we have the same chip as on the D6C. So we are going to swap those chips and I think speed problem will be solved. But there is uh, some more issues that uh, uh, that customer said uh, he would like to solve. And as I remember correctly, um, he would like to get uh, this uh, mechanism fully overhauled, uh, so we will we will just basically change everything um, regarding uh, 
belts, idlers, and so on. So, <clears throat> at first, I will just swap those chips and uh, we will see if uh, uh, this one will start uh, playing in the correct speed. Okay, so I'll be back after this procedure. This is nothing special. You have to just use some braid or, or hot air to desolder uh, those and and, and uh, soldering another one back is also nothing very interesting. Okay, so I'll be back after I'll change those. So till then. Okay, so I have already changed this chip. Uh, so I have removed one from that DD11 and just changed with this one that was originally in this device. So right now let's uh, let's test it. This is how it looks. Right now, let's test it. Let's put in some power. <clears throat> and what about right now? As you can see, now speed is correct. Yeah. Let's check on the other side. Yeah, perfect. So, speed issue is solved. But right now we will have to deal with uh, all of those, um, all of those other, other issues that it has. So we will have to lift up this board. And as I remember, when when doing that you have to be very careful because these small wires they are they are made just to break you know okay so let's let's start them Actually, those idlers, no, the belt is, yeah, the belt is not very good, as you can see, look at that, you see what it is doing, but idlers look actually very good condition, you know, hmm. but in any case, we will have to deal with that also. Uh, this one, the this side that is a bit uh, in the angle uh, grinded or polished, you have to put it like that. So this side should go on to the motor. Yeah. So this one was also like this. Let's put this like that.
Okay, so this one is changed. Now about that tiny, tiny belt for the counter. Mm -hmm. It is repli replaceable by not removing too much of the components. But uh, we have to deal with this also. So let's let's remove this clip. Oh my god, I fished that out and it just gone. Actually, this one's not too bad, but since we are already here, let's let's change it.
wood so we have changed all the all the belts and everything else so right now let's let's put this one back Okay, belt is straight and it is going fine. Let's just a bit clean like that. Let's clean this part. You don't have to go crazy right here. Tiny bit of Grease will be enough. Good right now. Let's put back this part. Actually, I like those transports a lot because uh, with those you can achieve very good results regarding wall and flutter. Very good results. Now let's clean up a bit potentiometers. Yeah, we are finished with everything regarding, yes, regarding changing all the belts and, and idlers. So right now let's put back the board. So let's, I think, let's try. Wow, it's very quiet. Okay, so right now I'm gonna test the speed. And just look at that. 
speed is actually almost bang on the play in the place but regarding one platter we are fluctuating in about uh, 0.6 uh, not point uh, 0.06 range I think these uh, idlers have to a bit break in and then we will see a bit better results uh, in, in, in some time because it is going uh, lower and lower as you can see so but uh, these the transports are, are actually phenomenal for for accuracy and speed and wow and plotter and uh, the speed stability is very very beautiful as you can see yeah so that's it let's rewind that's my tape screaming okay so till then okay so what i have found out that there are more issues with this jack there was uh, a shorted two channels and uh, from what i see uh, somebody uh, who was trying to repair it was wrong and they just uh, gave one channel to uh, to both uh, right and, and left so let's fix this or let's try to fix it because what I can see is that this part was broken and those two have to be okay let's try to check with the cord okay. let's grab the tester okay so ground ground is here then mid one, this one, and this one. Okay, so this is left channel, right channel, and the ground. Okay, let me check those again. How they should be connected? I'll check in the service manual. Okay, so I think I have sorted out, so this part is broken, it should be connected and uh, this uh, should be connected with this. So let's remove a bit of copper. And right here. Actually, I got a trimmer, but we will do this, this in this way right now. That's not the problem. Because when I was trying to, to check the channels, and uh, there was missing one not missing one but it was shorted together and uh, when i was adjusting azimuth that was crazy that both of, of uh, channels are equal all the time <laughs> okay let's grab some solder
somebody was a bit too crazy about the force on on this jack good let's check again yes we have stereo sound right now so uh, now i will set the azimuth to correct one so till then Yeah, speed control is working. Okay. So let's test. Works just fine, I think. And it is much quieter than it was before uh, with uh, all of those uh, gummy stuff that was originally. So, the magic happened.